Okay, John Z here again. We're here with Eric Whitting of uh, Burger Engineering. And uh, Sony has made a big deal about these guys, and so I wanted to come and kind of get it from the horse's mouth about their lens adapters. So. Okay, so the demo we're showing here at NAB is on the Sony F3 camera. Uh, this is the nearly final product that will be out in four to eight weeks. And we're showing complete integration of the Canon lenses with the Sony F3 camera. Uh, we can control iris uh, from the lens mount itself using push buttons. And we can control focus electronically from an external uh, follow focus accessory that we'll also be selling soon. Uh, all of the um, operating point information for the lenses, like where the lens is focused, what the focal length is, what the current aperture is, are all um, fed into the camera to be recorded as metadata and um, you got in the viewfinder and up on the display. So I'm going to uh, switch over to the iris axis and went the wrong direction with it. Mm. So uh, as I make these changes in, in aperture, we're actually making quarter stop changes each step. Uh, the uh, display on the camera is showing half stop increments. I hope Sony fixes that soon. <laughs> and uh, in the uh, viewfinder, not the video feed, you can see as I change focus. I don't know if you can look in the viewfinder with the. Uh, Where is the camera now? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I got it, it actually. Okay. So let me um, do a little focus adjustment. So the uh, focus bar should be walking across. Yep. And now as I go, so I'm at uh, f2.8. I'm going to come down to, let's go for about f8. I'm going to get rid of this ND so you can see what we're looking at. And now you'll see that the focus bar has gotten a little wider because a whole lot more is in focus. Mm -hmm. So Sony did a really nice job with the data display in the camera and all of the smarts that are built into these DSLR lenses are being used uh, to feed the camera the information that it needs. This, this, um, uh, this information in the camera is uh, not just being shown in the viewfinder, it's being recorded uh, as metadata along with the um, video file so that you'll have the opportunity in post to make use of any of the information. Even if it's just to verify which lens you used and what the settings were, if you do visual awesome. effects, uh, you have the opportunity to know exactly what was going on if you needed to model that lens. Okay. So, about four weeks, Sony and their freelancers will have access to first product, and about eight weeks we'll be out in the field. Okay. Now, you had mentioned uh, earlier about the types of lenses that this works best with right now. Okay, so the best lenses are the L-Series, which for people who are new to Canon, if the lens has a red stripe on it, it, that's the best of what Canon makes. Okay. And then they have a mid-market lineup of lenses that say USM on them or they have a gold stripe. And so many but not all of those lenses work very well with the system, like the 60 millimeter macro, um, the 50 and 85 millimeter prime lenses are really great low-cost, $400-ish lenses, and these um, zoom and prime lenses uh, in the L-Series end up being in the you know $1,000 to $3,000 range, and uh, very comparable to uh, uh, lenses from the traditional Cine and uh, manufacturers okay. like, like Zeiss. You mentioned something about buttons on the adapter itself for okay, iris so, control? So yeah. this is the, um, on the camera is a uh, prototype this is actually the final package for the product that hasn't been machined yet. It's two stainless steel castings, and there are three buttons. There's the locking pin so you can release the lens, an iris plus and an iris minus button that will be Ooh. machined in, okay. and then this uh, nub here gets drilled out and the connector is pressed in so your when you plug in your focus accessory, it's not as prominent as it is here and it's tucked in I nice see. and close to the camera. Okay. But so without... Uh, any external accessories, any external cabling, the iris can be controlled from the lens mount, all the data can be fed into the camera, and the lens can be manually focused. That's awesome. an $800 product. Wow. And then for $500 extra, there will be a simple focus wheel that's simpler than the device we're using for demonstration today. Okay. And then there'll be about a $1,000 remote control that is uh, more full featured. Oh, okay. This specific device we used to sell for the Red One, and it's no longer on the market, and that's why we're coming out with a uh, slightly different version. Well, Kevin, I think our customers are going to be really excited to see this. We can't wait to see the real production units come out. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks for coming to see us.